Good afternoon. My name is Alina Shautsova. I am an immigration attorney from Brooklyn, New York. In today's Legally Speaking seminar, I would like to talk to you about one of the most stressful subjects in immigration law. What to do if uh, you are denied admission or your admission is questioned at the border by CBP officers and you are already a green card holder or let's say you are even an applicant for naturalization. Various situations arise. Sometimes we need to travel uh, when our application for green card is pending. Uh, of course, in this situation, a person would uh, have to receive uh, a document called advanced parole, and you're probably aware of that. But what to do if your application is denied while you're on travel according to this advanced parole? So you filed your I-485, it's pending, you received advanced parole document, everything is legal, you left the country, and while you were overseas, your I-485 was denied. Let's say you missed the interview because you were not aware of the interview. Now, technically, there is nothing pending for you, but you have this advanced parole document. Will you be allowed back into the United States? Well, the answer depends. Uh, what happens at the border is the CBP officers first will have to determine the reason for your denial of I-485. If it's uh, apparent to them that it was a criminal issue, most likely you will be stuck outside of the country. But if it was not, What's going to happen is that you should be allowed back into the country and um, then there will be what's called deferred inspection. CBP officers may take 30 to 60 days to determine uh, what they want to do with you, how they want to legally handle your situation and most likely they will admit you or parole you back into the United States while you are resolving issue with USCIS. Most of those denials will be due to a uh, missed interview, I would say. So you should be back into the country. That's very important to know. So what's happened basically is this. You will need to uh, tell CBP that uh, you are intending on uh, disputing the denial with USCIS and ask them to parole you or allow you back into the country. However, they want to allow you back. You don't care really as long as you're back because this will allow you to um, file your appeals or motions to reopen with, with USCIS. Another situation that's uh, quite common is uh, when you file for N-400, right? You file for naturalization and what happened is that um, you received a notice of intent to deny. But during this time, you, you're traveling and this notice is issued while you're traveling. And sometimes the notice will be accompanied with the um, uh, notice to appear when the government is trying to deport you on top of everything else. So what happens at the border? What's going to happen depends on whether the notice was served. And um, if there was just notice of intent to deny your N-400, you will be admitted back as a lawful permanent resident. If the notice was served, the notice was most likely served um, for you as being deportable, the CBP officers will reissue the notice for you now to be inadmissible. Um, sometimes there is a difference in it. So if the notice was not served, you will be served uh, or they should serve you with a notice at the border um, and you will be paroled back and, or rather you will be allowed back as the uh, lawful permanent resident and you will be handling your deportation proceedings uh, accordingly. What happens is that only a United States judge can take lawful permanent status away from somebody. Remember that, okay? And if at the border you offer to surrender the status, do not agree to that, you have a right for a hearing with a U.S. immigration judge and to have a lawyer present because most likely at the border you will not have the benefit of the lawyer because you're not entitled to it. It's very simple. If the CBP officers would like you to have access to the lawyer, you will have the access. If not, you will not see one. So hopefully this little video was helpful and um, you can learn more about different aspects of immigration law and especially ones related to travel on our website www.shaltsova.com. Thank you.